Good morning, my friends. This is Tanya at Zuggy Crafts, and as promised, I am working with Raggedy Ann and Andy today. We are busting that six by six. Whoo! I've got some pages left, so I will still be doing some crafting, but I haven't finished, honestly, cutting it, everything out yet. I'm trying to make four sets of everything, but I was running out of time, so I gotta get this video out to you this morning before I go on to work. So we're going to only put together one of these today, one set, I mean, and then I'll have to come back and, and show you the finished the finished product. So I think we're gonna work on this one today because I absolutely love this and I wanna see how it comes out. And then actually we'll go this way. But first we gotta put some Raggedy Hand and Andy together. So these are the dies I'm working with. If I can find them, I got these from AliExpress. If you punch in um, Raggedy Ann and Andy die cuts, you should probably run across these. But I will try to find them in my history and if I can and get them out to you. Uh, the link in the description box, I hope. So, um, let me see what I can find out. But I can't promise that I'll be able to do that. You know how AliExpress is. So I'm gonna go ahead and set these aside. I'm hoping, I think I cut out all the pieces that I need for at least one set and some extras. So we're gonna start there. So um, I keep my dies near me because that way it helps me to remember which the piece is piece, which piece is what. This is Anne, this is Andy. I can tell because of the hair. And we're gonna just take one of these. Like I said, I cut out more pieces than I needed for one set. I, For most of them, I have four, four sets cut out. But like I said, I was running out of time and I thought, you know what? I gotta get this out to you guys. I gotta go to work soon. So here I am. And I wanna get this uh, video out before I go to work because it takes sometimes forever and you might not actually even see it till, till tonight or even tomorrow if I don't get it out before I go. So, I don't know why that is. Our reception at work, our um, internet, our connection is horrible for some reason. I don't know if that's what it is or if YouTube doesn't like to, I don't know. I can't blame YouTube. I'm just saying, sometimes they don't upload right or very quickly. And I've heard others complain about that too, but you know, whatever. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. How you guys doing? I hope you're all well. I've got a little bow here. Let's see. His little nose. Some of these pieces are scraps I can throw away. I'll just kind of dab that on there. Hopefully get it on there before it dries. There, he's got a little nose. What I can do for his eyes, I can put a little piece of black paper on the back to make that, um, which I need to, I have a, I probably have a scrap here I can use. Cause I got their shoes cut out too. So I've got little pieces that I can probably put back there. So I'll hold on to those. Um, let's get Anne's hair together. I love these die cuts. Um, I made a birthday card out of them for my mom. She's, her birthday is in July. And so being that they are red, white, and blue, I thought that would be cute to put them together. And I had some stickers that were Happy Birthday America, and so I took off the America part <laughs> and made it for her. They turned out really cute. This one shows you exactly where to line that up. Makes it pretty simple. Isn't she darling? Where's her nose at? There's her nose. Hold on to those extra pieces just in case I might decide to use those later. Her nose is gonna be upside down. It's not gonna be easy. Come on. Oh, that worked out. Turn it around. Did you guys play with Raggedy Ann and Andy dolls when you were little? I loved it. I think I had the Andy first, and then I think I cried and begged and just had to have Raggedy Ann also. <laughs> I don't know why I got the boy first. Maybe that's the one I wanted. I'm not sure. I don't remember that part. All right, so there's his little pants. Here's her little dress. I gotta remember which parts go because they're layered. Okay, so do I need any of these things yet? No, I'm gonna just go ahead and set those aside out of my way. I don't need that. 
don't know which color bow I'm gonna use for him yet. I think I'm gonna use a white color. Um, here's his little shirt. Isn't that cute? We can go ahead and glue that on right now. This die kind of cut right here on his sleeve. I don't know why. I feel like I'm putting this on in the wrong spot. There we go. That might be might be a little better. I remember there was something about, I'm doing this carefully because there was something about the way I layered them last time and it didn't work quite right. And I thought, ooh, I need to remember that for next time. So I'm trying to be a little cautious about how quickly I'm moving here. So I'm gonna think it through. Cute, and then I also remember I didn't have a lot to work with when this came to this. There we go. Isn't he darling? Okay, now let's get Anne together a little bit. I could use this one, that would be cute, but that's the color I use for skin cones, so I'm not gonna use that. I thought this would be cute. little less traditional, right? Now Raggedy Ann and Andy always kind of matched, so I need to bring, this is his little cap, I need to bring Raggedy Ann over, her little apron over to him. This, oh, yeah, no, that's no, no. Um, let's see here. Which fabric? Not, yeah, that is that one. I don't know if I like that though. I don't think I like that. But what I can do is use that color or that fabric for his bow tie, maybe? Did I get a bow tie that color? That fabric, that, that paper, that pattern, I don't think I did. Which is fine too, I mean, it doesn't have to. Should we just use, we could just use a little red bow, which I also have, which might be perfect. Oh, I have it right here. Let's just use a little red one. I'm perfectly happy with that. And actually it, it draws it settles it down a little bit. I think that's probably the best choice right there. Now for his hat though, what am I gonna do there? I'll just bring this blue back from his pants. Let's just do that. Good morning, Cashy. What you doing, meow meow? There we go. There's his little cap. Now we need feet and hands. These are her pantaloons. 
There should be another one. This is one of his hands. Let's just attach it before I lose it again. You know me. What's interesting is they made their hands completely different. Like hers are little, little round hands. And his are big old mitten hands. Here's his other mitten hand. Thought that was interesting. Isn't he cute? All right, where's her other pantaloon? There it is, way over there. All right, and I think those will just go just like that. Can you see why I only wanted to put one together on camera today? I didn't want to keep you here all day. I gotta go to work. I was gonna say, mama's gotta go to work. That's what I was telling my dog. <laughs> oh, mama's gotta work. Aren't they adorable? Oh my gosh. Okay, um, shoe. Shoe, those look like his, these look like hers. She's got pants, she's got um, little legs too. I gotta get find those. Did I not cut them? No, I did. There's one. Where's the other one? I need one more, one more. There it is. Almost done. Um, let's go this way. Now, I saw somebody make these on another channel. That's where I found out about them. I'm like, uh, I need that die. <laughs> I need that. How nostalgic are these? I just think they're wonderful. I really do. Oops. Don't forget her hands. Her hands are right there. And it actually goes this way. Remember. And here's her other one. I'm just jumping through this quick, huh? And let's get his little feet on. It's not that hard once you've got your pieces together and you know where they go. I think the knowing where they go part is a little bit tricky sometimes, but I have done this once before, and I made sure to look at the picture again this morning so that I knew where they went. And as I was cutting, I was kind of planning for that. Now, she's supposed to have a little pocket. Um, I don't remember if I cut out. I cut out a couple different colors. I don't remember if I cut a white one. I was kind of hoping for a white one, but I don't know that I did didn't so well there's a pocket what's this one it's that fabric that'll work that will work that's the same fabric as her shirt it's a little busy but I think it works just fine and I have a little red flower that I wanted to put on there I don't think it's gonna be very noticeable but I'm gonna put that there. It adds just a little something. Super cute, now let's do their eyeballs. So what do you do with their eyeballs? So, what you do with their eyeballs, you take some paper. Now she's got eyelashes or something here too. I don't use though. You know what I, no, it's not. I was thinking, you know what I bet that is? I bet that's the, I bet that's not eyelashes at all. I bet that's little cuffs on her sleeves. I don't know, 
but I didn't use them before and I'm not gonna use them today because they're itty bitty and you know, honestly, it won't make or break the project. So I'm not gonna use them today either. And you guys can do that, you know, if you don't, if you find a piece that's just unnecessary or you don't like how it's gonna look, don't put it on there, it's okay. Who's gonna know, who's gonna care? You do you. All right, now can I put, can I split this in half because I don't have much black with me. I mean, I can go get some across the room. But really, do I wanna have to do that? Not necessarily. So let's just go around this little eyeball. Let's see if we can get this on there to fit. I know the back looks like crap, but that's okay. Nobody's going to see the back, right? We just got to make sure that that actually covered the holes. Yep, perfect. See how that worked? It's beautiful. It's perfect. Love it. Okay, now let's do it again for him. Then I'll show you how to make it so it doesn't look like she has dead eyes. We don't want dead eyes on Agony Ann or Andy. care that that's so big okay they're gonna get glued onto another surface so nobody's ever gonna see that okay now we're done with all this for now because I've got project I've got things to make but for now this is it okay now we need a white gel pen or I actually have these wonderful pens from Archer and Olive these are acrylograph pens I don't know if I'm saying that right but they are um, opaque they're like paint pens and I really like I haven't used these a lot but I'm, I'm, I'm I love using them partially because they've been sitting here and they're kind of expensive but um, yeah I need to use them so we're just gonna put a tiny little dot and that's gonna give it a little bit of life as you can see do the same thing for Andy way it looks like just a little bit of light is shining off there I like to do the same for their shoes and I like to just draw a little line here on the top of their shoes just to give them a little bit of shine or definition or life you know just a little added detail that nobody's really gonna notice But they might. Now, one other thing for Andy, he needs some buttons for his overalls. And I have these itty bitty tiny buttons. Um, Don't know where I got them, probably AliExpress as well. I think I did get them on AliExpress. I thought they were gonna be bigger and they were these itty bitty tiny ones, but they actually are perfect for Andy. Oh, what did I just do? I was trying so hard to get that out without spilling it. I don't know, I think I just sent it flying around the room. I don't know how I did that. So forceful. Okay, there's another one. Oh, she'd be cute with them too. Look, it, it landed right there. I didn't even know it did that. Let's put them on her, her apron too. Why in the world not? That'll make them look more like a set too, won't it? How cute is that? Add a little bit of detail to both. Need to get one more out. Oops. And now that I've got glue all over her, let's try this again before that thing glues to his foot. Let go, there. Oh, that's cute. Now he needs them on his suspenders. See, the picture only puts buttons on his overalls, but it doesn't put them on her apron. Well, I don't know why not. Why shouldn't she have buttons? Put one more there. There 
we go. Super cute. Don't you love them? I do. All right, so we're going to put these on our Valentine card. They do need a heart, and I don't have a heart cut out. Look at that. I cut everything except the heart. Um, and I'm probably not going to do that right now. I think what I'm going to do is call it a day. So look how cute it's coming along. This is going to be it. Um, I know that you guys were excited to see that. So being that this is Let's Do Die Cut Monday, I wanted to make sure I do this. It's also Mass Making Monday, which is why I cut out so darn many. Um, not to mention the fact that I have to fill up four cards. So this is my Valentine for today. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys get out your crafting materials and go to town. Bust up your six by six. Make something fun. Make a card. Make a make a whatever. And, and have some fun with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Love y'all. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.